All right, so today we are replacing this amazing power cord or this destroyed power cord on a yellow angle grinder. This one was terrible and I just pulled it off and it was soft and yucky. It's about 10 or 15 years old. I just finished the replacement, so if you want to know how to replace your power cord on your yellow angle grinder, all right, people who like these yellow tools, this is a grinder and the electric gods made this break off. I just pulled that off. So, we're going to try and replace it with a handy dandy computer cable. So what we've got here is a Torx. screws and it did come off. Maybe I'll pull this out. It's a simple side weird connector right there. All right, I gotta get that out of the way. And it looks like it's the same simple connector underneath. Right, grommet cable. Two connectors so I'm going to just cut that right here and cut this right here and I'll solder it together and then put the connector clippers back on okay so the white one went underneath and the black one was up on top not that that really matters but I'm going to keep it that way just so polarity and ground are good shape. And that really got smashed right there too. That's kind of concerning. But, <coughs> let's find some cutters. Okay, so I trimmed off these ends and I trimmed off the end of this plug and I got it all ready to solder. I got my soldering iron out, which just Gonna heat it up and dab a little solder on it. <coughs> Wrap it in electrical tape. There we go. That melted in really good. All right, now I need some electrical tape. And I actually think that electrical tape is at Home Depot. We are saved by the motorcycle toolbox. Are you kidding me? Oh, let's make sure we get this hootenanny on there. Oh, I think I made a mistake. I think his name is Tim. Smack Daddy. Why didn't we put that through first? Seriously? Yeah, well, squeaky cheese. All right, well, kids, friends, anything worth doing is worth doing twice. Learn from your dumb buddy's mistakes. I'm unsoldering this at this point. Okay, that's more perfect than it used to be. Now, Let's put the relief grommet on. So now, I remember the black was on top and the white was on the bottom. I'm going to pull that in here, tuck it out of the way, fix it right up. 
Okay, so I was able to look at the dust marks on this and put that back in. I honestly don't have any idea even what that's for. Doesn't wrong tip. Check with that. I have one of these. But I snapped the case together and it seemed to snap together pretty well. It wants to smash that cord, which is alright. That's what holds it in. If I didn't have 1000% confidence in my ability as being like completely amazing, I would have tested this before I put it together. But it's only four little screws. So, let's call it amazing and fantastic and... Ah, that thing's a lock. So I got it right. The lock works. Perfect. Good for another 10 years and that's how you fix the power cord. That's how you fix the power cord on a yellow angle grinder. Alright, that's a wrap, friends. We got the power cord fixed. It works. We didn't really make too much of a mess of anything. So, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your mom. Send donuts. You know, whatever seems appropriate.